Hi guys, it's me Haras and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel guys, don't forget to like and subscribe and share and hit the notification bell para updated kayo sa aking mga videos. So for today's video guys, we're going to make a tutorial. So alam naman natin na meron din kayo nito and I don't know kung ginagawa nyo na rin ito. So for now guys, we're going to tutorial about... So, kung narinig nyo dati yung usap-usapan na about tax, like that, like this. Kasi nga, napag-usapan yun dati. So, ngayon, nangyayari na talaga siya, guys. So, kagabi lang, I received uh, one, uh, one message uh, galing kay YT. So, ito na nga yun siya, guys. So, umpisahan na natin. So, we're going to the Google and we're going to search uh, Google AdSense. So, Google AdSense, where are you? Here. Ano ba yun? Si off muna natin tong notification, guys, kasi sobrang distorbo talaga. I'm going to turn it back. So, ayan na. So, ayan, guys, uh, to be continue. So guys, we are here na in my Google AdSense. Ayan, pero siya itlog, di ba? Okay. So makikita nito sa taas, may important check and additional tax information required from you. So ito yung, ito tutorial natin siya. So, ayan, basahin nito all YouTube creators and partnership required tax information and payments accurate. Okay guys. At makikita nyo rin to sa inyong uh, Google AdSense. So, i-click na natin siya. Manage Stock Info. Ayan, scroll down. Down, ayan. So, makikita natin yung tandang padamdam. So, click natin tong Add Tax Info. Okay. So, here guys, kailangan natin a repeat yung password. Password ng ating account or Google account. Okay. So, yan guys. So, we need the password of our YouTube channel or YouTube Google account. So, yan guys. So, nag-field siya. So, later on, in a few minutes, few minutes later on. So, ito na yan siya guys for the next... Mm, loading. So, ayan. United Tax Info. Ayan. Makikita nyo dito. So, basahin nyo lang siya, guys. And then, we click the individual. And then, next. Proceed to go down. And are you citizen or resident of the United States? So, di ba hindi? So, no. And then, next is the select W8 Tax Form Type. So, ayan. Kailangan yung basahin. This form is most commonly used by non-US individuals and will also be used to the claim tax treaty benefits. And the second one is the we W8 ECI. This form is most commonly used by the non-US business identity individual that earns income with treated US it treat business file as US income tax return. So, ang bibili natin guys is yung first one. So, i-click natin yung the first one. So, so, after clicking by the first one, proceed to the next. Tagal! Loading! So, ayan na guys. So, makikita natin sa taas yung pangalan natin. And, uh, yung DBA doing business as name or disagreed entity. So, ngayon guys, uh, kailangan natin magbasa dito sa taas kung ano talaga yung mga nakasulat, diba? Kasi para sure tayo sa ating mga kabuhay-buhay. So, ngayon guys, so, for me, andito ako sa Hong Kong. So, it, pipiliin ko lang muna yung Philippines, guys, no? Try ko lang siya. Kasi nga, uh, citizenship ko ay is Filipino. So, kailangan kong lagyan ng uh, Philippines. 
But I confuse. Nalilito ako because I'm Philippine, but I am here now in Hong Kong. So wait lang. Nako confuse talaga ako. Hmm. Parang may mali guys. Kasi I living here in Hong Kong and married here, and then. Yung visa ko is going to resident visa na. So, parang nalilito ako. Parang kailangan ko siyang palitan. Is na a Philippine. Kailangan kong palitan ng Hong Kong. Kasi, andito ako sa Hong Kong. And then, I married here. So, parang gano'n na nga guys, diba? Wait lang. O, oh, ayan. Sa taas guys, makikita mo ng name, individual, and then customer country. So, wala ako sa Philippines ngayon. So, kailangan ko siyang palitan talaga. Okay, so moving, 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 moving. Kailangan kong palitan. Okay, guys. Later on. And a few in our inches later. <laughs> oh my God. So, okay, guys. We are back here again. And so, ayun na nga, guys. So, I decided to change my uh, country. Kailangan ko siyang palitan na dito sa Hong Kong. Okay. So, scroll. I scroll. Napakahirap talaga guys pag ganito. So, ayan guys. Kailangan ko talaga full decide na ako na Hong Kong na talaga yung ilagay ko. Kasi andito na ako sa Hong Kong. So, ayan, ayan, ayan. Okay. Ayan. So, Next, guys. Kasi yung tin jan, yung tin is optional lang siya. So ngayon, kailangan kong i-type yo. Tingnan mo sa taas, guys, o customer country. So, di ba nasa Hong Kong? So next, proceed to the address is permanent residence address. So i-click ko to. Check, check. Na, kailangan talaga natin magbasa. Ayan, permanent residence, uh, PAX, address, scale will be required to submit additional documentation. Okay, check. And country region is Hong Kong. And then here we put uh, address. Ayan. Address, address, address. So, I hope guys, you're doing also for this. Kasi nga, bago lang talaga siya. And, minsan, nakakasama talaga ng loob. Lalo-lalo na doon sa mga small YouTuber na... Uh, alam mo yung hindi naman gaano ang kalakihan yung sahod mo. Tapos, may biglang ganito pa. Bubungad sa'yo na kailangan nating magpayad. So, akala ko chismis lang to kasi guys. Uh, kasi... Dati, may narinig kasi akong ganyan, na talks, yung ganon. Tapos, wala lang. Hindi lang siniseryoso, ba diba? Akala ko joke. So, ngayon, yun, 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 yun yung nangyari. So, ayan, guys. Uh, naguguluhan ako dun sa, ano, sa address kasi na, na, nalagay ko siya ng kompleto. Pero sa baba, needed pa rin siyang ilagay. So, ngayon, guys, we proceed to the next step. So, tapos na tayo sa address. And we proceed to the... Oh, next one. Yeah. Here, postal address is same. Ayan, yung ganyan. <laughs> so, ayan guys, ayan na siya. Ayan, hindi ko muna siya ipapakita guys. Kasi baka pupuntahan niyo ako dyan. So, ayan guys, we're moving to the tax treaty. Are you claiming to a reduced rate of uh, withholding under a tax treaty? Minsan guys, pag nagbabasa ako mabilis, parang nabubul na rin ako. So, it's a eh, check natin dito ang mm, no. Are you claiming a reduced rate of tax holder under a tax treaty? Simply no. Yeah, check natin yan and then proceed to the next. Ha ha ha. So, ito na guys. Ito na yung form. We 8P in default natin. So, kailangan natin tong i-confirm. Ayan. Hindi siya masyadong kita. But, I see ito na yung mga na-fill up natin. So, kailangan na natin siyang i-confirm. So, ayan guys. I-confirm na natin siya. And then, we scroll and proceed. And then, 
kailangan natin ng signature. So, ayan. Kailangan natin i-double check. Yeah, your signature is full legal name. So, yung buong pangalan mo. So, after that, guys, nag-perma ka na ng pangalan mo sa taas. And then, kailangan mong basahin dito sa baba. Are you a personal listed and signature section? Yes, I am. The personal listed and signature section is I am completing and form now on my behalf. Uh, sorry. Atin siya and then proceed to the activities and service. So, dito, magbabasa na naman tayo dito. Activity 6 and service for form you is affidavit. So, has the individual identity identificas categorized? So, we need to choose which one. Oh, yes. Yes or no? So, we need to choose and understand all the things here. So we need to choose one is yes. And then next one, are you providing tax info assisting payments provide has not received payment assessment payment while provide the previously and payments? So I am provide tax info and now assessment payment for registered payment. I am providing tax and for insisting payment provides that previously received a payment. So we need to choose the one or the second one. So I need to choose the second one. Second one guys. So here guys we proceed to the next and we need to check for the under penalties of injury, I declare the information and dedication contract element and same exchange and provide the January 1, 2020 until the present of the complete the red blah 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 so guys need na natin siyang it confirm or it check so the extent of there was a change need na natin siyang it confirm so after natin mag confirm kailangan natin yung submit Click to submit. So, ayan na guys. So, nakikita nyo na dyan. Approved na yung tax natin. Ayan siya. So, ayan guys. Pag nakikita nyo yung status approved, okay na yan siya. So, thank you for watching guys. And, I hope nakasabay kayo sa aking tutorial for now. And, Sana uh, mag-subscribe pa kayo sa aking channel para updated kayo sa aking mga susunod na videos. So, God bless po sa ating lahat. So, see you guys on my next vlog. Bye-bye!